In order to perform linear regression on a Casio, I need to turn my calculator on and press the Menu button. Once in Menu, I move to the right and press Execute on the Stat category for Statistics. Here is where I'll enter my data for my X and Y values. I will use List 1 for my X and List 2 for my Y values. To enter a value, I simply type the number and press Execute. I'll do this for four entries just to demonstrate. And now I'm going to go press the right arrow to move to list 2, where I'll again enter my Y values by typing in a number and pressing Execute. Now you can see that I have four entries for both lists. You want to make sure the dimensions of your two lists match. That means you need to have the same number of values in each list, your X list and your Y list. Now to do linear regression, I'm going to hit F2, which lines up with the word CALC for calculate. So I press F2, and I want to do regression. So I can see REG for regression, I hit F3. Now there's many types of regressions. I want to do linear regression, which is simply an equation in the form of Y equals MX plus B. So I'm going to hit F1, which corresponds to the X. Now there's two different ways you can choose this. Choose this. I'm going to use MX plus B. So I'm going to hit F1 for the AX plus B form. And now I've got my linear regression. My slope is 2.485, 2.486 if I round up. My B value, or Y intercept, is negative 0.828. And I have all of my information there, as well as my R squared value, which determines how well my data is fit by this line. In order to remove values from your column if you need to change your data, hit the exit button. That brings me back to the list. If I hit exit again, and again, and again, I get back to what my uh, menu usually reads out. Now in order to delete things, I'm going to hit F6, which moves me to additional parts of the menu, and then I can see DEL for delete. So I'll hit F3 to clear my data. And now I'm ready to enter new data. Use this button F6 to move to calculate, press F3 for regression, F1 for Y equals MX plus B, and F1 once more. And as you can see, I don't have any data, and my dimensions don't match up, so I cannot perform linear regression.